Good afternoon, collective. Let's see what messages come out for y'all today. I'm going to start with my red oracle. Divine Holy Spirit, the senses of the highest white light. Allow me to channel the energy of my collective. Please and thank you. Archangel Michael, please protect me as I channel this energy. Steering. Let's see what's going on. Okay. We have yin, all their glitters, and co-create. Bottom of the deck is regeneration. All right, so some of you may have lost something or something could have came to an end surrounding like a relationship or stability with this four. But there's some type of favor being shown because something wasn't what you thought it was going to be with this all that glitters you know what it's giving like you could have had a situation it reminds me of this little show I'll be watching it's called Believe 111 on the phone and she told that guy she said it was a 10 year old little girl she said you know you complain a lot so what I'm getting with this is you may have had something before and didn't appreciate it, or you could have been complaining about it. And that may have come to an end. Something wasn't what you thought it was going to be. But I feel like, like the card, ooh, child, ten of swords. There's about to be some type of regeneration here. Seven of swords. It's also giving like, you could, yep, strength. You may have had to pass some type of test here. Strength. Five of Wands. Three of Wands. And Four of Wands. Five of Cups. Somebody could regret. It could be a Leo. Or you could be a Leo with the Strength card. Somebody could have had a lot of chaos and conflict. Somebody's seen this coming. Either they did it and ran up here. <laughs> Look. That's what it looked like. Either this person created a lot of chaos and conflict around you and then ran. Hey! Y'all stop screaming. Yeah. Yeah, you could have. Somebody, whoever this is in this red, it always reminds me of the Emperor or the King of Wands. I think they have red on too. But anyway. Somebody created a bunch of chaos and conflict. Possibly around your home or your stability or your relationship. It's like they did it and ran away, child. Yeah, I can't make it up. Eight of Cups. Dang. Um, I feel like you passed some type of test, too. This could have been something from the past. Someone from your past. Eight of Wands. There could be something online. Or there could be a lot of people talking about something. There could also be a lot of messages coming in. Alright, Spirit, what's this? All that glitters. What's the all that glitters? Please and thank you. What's the all that glitters for the collector? We got two cards coming out. The Sun card again with the Queen. There could be a female that's a Leo energy. <laughs> also, uh, somebody could have gotten into a relationship where they, you see how this person's holding this pinnacle? I'm getting a few things. For some of you, it was illuminated that something, that you was about to receive something. Somebody could have got upset and created a bunch of chaos and conflict in your life. I was also getting somebody wanted you to pay attention to them. Um, but you also could have gotten into a connection where maybe the person gave you a lot of material stuff, but maybe they didn't spend no time with you. With that sun card and the Queen of Pentacles. What else, Spirit? I feel like it was illuminated that you were a Queen of Pentacles to someone. What happened, though? You could be a man or a woman, but I feel like it was illuminated that you was a queen of pentacles, eight of swords, and the moon. 
So behind the scenes, somebody was trying to get you stuck. For some of you, because there's a spectrum. For some, they was just trying to get you stuck. For others, they was trying to, like, get you arrested, child. What the hell? All right, what else, here? What's the uh, strength in the five of wands? You may have had to overcome a lot of chaos and conflict with this five of wands. Differences of opinions. Spirit was the strength of the five of wands. This could have been in a relationship. Maybe you and your person was disagreeing. Or if this was in a job, you could have been disagreeing with co-workers or something like that. Alright, so we have oh, got the Ace of Swords, the Two of Wands, and the King of Pentacles. <coughs> the King of Pentacles matched the Queen of Pentacles. So yeah, you could have got into a relationship where it was just all about uh, money or the material things. But you notice there's no cups here. There's passion. Uh, and there's pinnacles. The only cups that's out here is the eight of cups. A walking away. So some of y'all may have gotten into a situation. Maybe it looked good. But with this all the glitters, it just reminds me of um, the grass is not green on the other side. So if you're a queen of pinnacles, you could have got this king of pinnacles and shit just didn't go how you thought it was okay and it could have created a lot of drama in your life maybe you are like a trophy wife just stay at home and, or somebody cheat on you they're going buy you a bunch of nice shit i don't know but i feel like somebody's already walked away from this and there's some type of favor coming in with this ace of cups because when you walked away from it, you could have lost a lot, right? With this regeneration card. When you walked away from whatever this was with this four of wands, you could have lost a lot. Whether it's job, community, uh, relationship, marriage, whatever it was, it wasn't in alignment with you, okay? With this all the glitters and five of wands. All right, Spirit. What's on this? Yeah, the Wheel of Fortune. So things are definitely changing here. I say some favor being shown over somebody. Five of Swords. So uh, whoever this is you walked away from, they in the Five of Swords energy. Mm -hmm. They want to keep you like this. Or either want to put you in the Five of Pentacles and or keep you in the Five of Pentacles. It's like, well, if you're not going to... Work here, you ain't gonna work nowhere. If you're not gonna be with me, you ain't gonna be with nobody. If you ain't gonna live over here, you ain't gonna live nowhere. It reminds me of the movie Beauty and the Beast. He said, if she don't eat with me, she don't eat it out. Five of Swords, Five of Pentacles. So this could be a King of Pentacles doing this to someone. Or this could be a Queen of Swords. Y'all gotta take it how it resonates. Someone could uh, work for the courts. Or someone could, with the Hierophant, this could be a religious group. Uh, institutions, organizations, or it could just be a Taurus. But, Queen of Cups. What else, Spirit? Queen of Wands in the reverse. Somebody could have wanted you to lose confidence. Queen of Wands in the reverse is a loss of confidence. Someone could be, you could be spiritual. Also, maybe someone wanted you to lose your, uh, Spirituality? Why? Well, y'all know last week, hell, all week we've been picking up on motherfuckers trying to sabotage any spiritual businesses that you were building. So you could have been. And the King and Queen of Pentacles, them, they are like. Uh, could be very traditional. For some of you, somebody could even see you as their, their match. But wanting you to release something with spirituality right here. And then for others of you, it's like I said, this person wanted you to lose your confidence. Let's pull these green cards and see what come out with it. Yep, there's something better. I would hope. <laughs> Some of you could be walking towards your life purpose. have a strong connection with Mother Nature. Mm. 
giant parenthood here. Legal. There could even be some. I did say over there somebody was trying to get you. Either trying to get you stuck or trying to get you arrested. Now, for some of you, there could be a married couple doing this to a queen of wands. Man or woman. <clears throat> what a spirit. You will receive new ideas and inspirations that will guide you to your divine calling. And what is meant for you will not leave as long as you continue to press forward. Also, ask for what you need and things will allow you to carry out the vision. The people you spend the most time with shape who you are. So maybe you was not around good people, especially with this five of wands. Um, because the three of wands could also be some type of expansion. Why is this co-create here though? But you have to co-create with spirit. Because you have actual physical people. Create. I'm telling you, somebody right here created a bunch of shit and it, that's what it looked like. They created a bunch of shit and ran. They could be in a position where they somewhere they can see how they're sitting up on the hill. Like they can see this five of wands in your life or something like that. What a spirit. What she say? Oh, I leave that impression. All right, for some of you, this could have to do with um, a relationship where, like, there's three people. King, Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Wands. Because I was just getting that song. What's her name? Samantha Carpenter. All right, so at the bottom of the deck, you have angelic help. That's why I say you might have to partner with spirit. Work hard in silence because whoever's creating the drama around you or in your life, they're in a place where they can sit back and watch it. So work hard in silence. Like any plans that you have, I want to tell everybody. You may even have to um, be patient. Like your test, your faith could be getting tested. All right. What else do you Promoter. If there's a new idea or project manifesting, know that it has great potential for success. So you may have received some type of new idea or inspiration to start something new. Because whatever you had with this person or whatever you had going on, there was some type of loss. And like people actively trying to keep somebody there, five of swords, five of pentacles. For some, this is happening to two people. All right, so you got these two people here in the Five of Pentacles. Then you got this one person still trying to keep these two. But some of you is trying to keep these two people apart. All right. It looks like, okay, with this Queen of Pentacles and the Sun card, it looks like this person looking at like a receipt or, or, or a, they're looking at something. Something could have been illuminated about a child. But this Queen of Pentacles could be looking at something. For some of you, like I said, all of this is happening because something fell into your lap. You could have got some type of promotion. And people trying to, like, sabotage you. Saw that Ten of Swords when I cut the deck. Somebody could be dealing with masons. Someone could be writing some type of a book. But remember when I said somebody's trying to make you lose confidence with the Queen of Wands in the reverse? The bottom of this card says you are enough and you have what it takes. Alright. Possibly to start this new project. Because there's it's going to be some favor over whatever this new, new thing is. With this Ace of Swords, Ace of Cups. Because you're getting angelic help. There's a career or a blessing lining up for you. Stay positive and believe. Also, pay attention to the signs that your angels are sending you during this time. Okay? This time, this is a time for you to trust in the universe and know that you'll be provided for. But I do see 
the five of swords, eight of swords, five of pentacles. Okay, and look, I wasn't too far off with the spirituality because I'm getting that with this black cat. You may have had some type of spiritual business. You may read tarot cards. You could be, oh gosh, there's so many different. There's there's star seeds. There's earth angels. There's clairvoyance. There's psychics. There's mediums. There's sensitives. It's a whole all kinds, child. And so, some for some of you, somebody could have wanted to partner with you, but they want you to release this first. For others of you, we've been picking up on it all week. We saw that legal card. People could go to go to court for um, this spirituality. You may some of you may be called to become a spiritual advisor or a healer. I don't think that's what's going on. I think somebody wants you to release this. How would they feel if you told them to release their beliefs? And so right behind that spirituality card, it says, don't let the world lead you. Uh, take the steering wheel, take control of your own life, okay? Focus on creating and managing a budget because we do have the five of pentacles with the five of swords. And this would be a good time to write down your goals and your aspirations. And somebody's just really trying to keep you stuck in the five of pentacles. I did a reading the other day where I said this person wanted you to get, they wanted you to get comfortable. So I did two readings. The first reading, is, it, was, it came out, this person wanted you to get comfortable in this five of pentacles. And another reading came out, no, you're not supposed, you are not meant to um, stay in this position, Okay. Um, what else is going on? I don't want the dead. We have health. So, <clears throat> a situation that needed resolution will be resolved and healed. That's the favor. Some of you, it is with the court because that little building look like a, one of them old court buildings, okay? But it also says consider careers in the medical field, massage therapy, or any healing work. It also may be time to replenish your energy and fully energize to prepare for what's next. For those of you who were who passed some type of test, this could be coming next. People are not following through on their promises to pay. Some of you could have got some type of recognition or something. I, I don't know why I keep picking up on that. I don't forgot what movie it was, but there was a church making money off of a family. And this king, Queen of Pentacles, for some of you, remind me of those, uh, I think this was back in the 70s. They were evangel evangelists or something like that. They would, they had, um, they would do their services live on TV. That reminds me of that King and Queen of Pentacles. Mm. You may have even accepted some type of partnership with one of these people and realized it's not what you thought it was going to be. Yeah, because with this unreliable, maybe people were like leaving out details, making there's something with ads, commercials or something. Maybe people was leaving out details. Say, oh, well, you'll be on TV live at 7 o'clock every night. They didn't tell you that you have to show your nipples or some shit like that. You know what I mean? But, yeah, that's this wheel of fortune. Your luck is about to change for the better. You could get a lucky break or a financial breakthrough. Anything you do now would be very prosperous for you. So that's that wheel of fortune with this Ace of Cups. There's a change for the better coming your way. Okay? Beware. Because I said something is not what it seems. Or something like that, y'all. Anything else to you? So I, this could have happened in any area of your life, right? Work, home, relationship. For some of you, it's just your beliefs, your spirituality. Somebody wanted to get you out of it, make you walk away from it or something, child. But they say everything woke turns to shit. All right, we have settling, we have the office. So, consider careers in administrative or management roles. Also, manage your time better or delegate tasks to be more productive. Think of the greater good than oneself to achieve a better outcome. And then you have settling. 
Perhaps it's time to ask yourself, are you getting paid what you're worth? Don't settle for a dead-end job where you don't see any opportunities for growth. Though your money is stable, are you making enough to keep you happy? Mm. Caution at the bottom of the deck. And you have beauty. Embrace your unique style. I feel like embrace this. Because there could be something unique about you. Embrace that shit and, and own it and let the world see who you really are. It also says, consider careers doing hair, jewelry, clothing, or any job that enhances other beauty. Okay. And then for some of you where this is about a job, if you want people to take you seriously, like, I'm getting like the outer has to match. There's something with your, um, like, how you dress or something. For some of y'all with this job. Yeah, see, look, right behind this halt is recognition. So, something could be owed to you or it's also given um, passing some type of test. I don't know why I keep getting that. So, it says money's looking good and solid. Whatever you're working on will be, you'll win the respect of others. Some of you could earn a leadership position. So that could be the pinnacle that fell in your lap. Some of y'all could have received some type of promotion. And maybe somebody was trying to keep that energy from you with the moon. <laughs> Excuse me. They could have been trying to keep that hidden from you. This could be going on in the office at your workplace. I just heard executive. Somebody could be an executive signing something. But then you have a halt. So, with that Ten of Swords, the reading I did last week, some of y'all was supposed to get a position, and there was people fighting, saying you didn't deserve it. Um, so, maybe that has been put on a halt. For some of you, you could have had some type of victory somewhere, and somebody's putting it on a halt. To keep you in the five of wow. To keep you in the five of pentacles is what it looked like. Eight of swords. That is the whole. It's like the stuck energy. Eight of swords. The moon. Five of swords. And five of pentacles. So it's like something got illuminated. That something belonged to you. Or you, you were receiving something. For somebody. Somebody could work like at the courts. For the courts, and they can know that something's coming to you. And let me let me pull some of mine. It's just some foul shit going on. I keep picking it up. What else, spirit? Holy shit, fire! And guess what? Trying to make you give up. Keep going. What the fuck? Some of y'all took somebody's position and they upset. So I don't know um, who you are in this reading. Because remember I said it got illuminated that something fell into your lap. And there really could have been a position with this promoter here. I mean, hell, the five of ones could have been competition for this position. You know what I mean? And uh, you have Astro astral projection so i don't know what type of position this is i mean the eight of pentacles didn't come out but shit the four of wands it could be a business it could be and i just saw set up because i do feel like with the eight of swords and the moon card somebody really could be trying to set you up yeah what the fuck is going on zone? for some of y'all this is huge Or this car wouldn't be here. There could be something with identity. My God. She said, they tried to clone my image. Nikki is a Sagittarius. Somebody could be a Sagittarius. All right. Uh, somebody could be doing manipulating water or something. There could be some type of a new law. That would be the executive, executor, executive that I was getting. There could be a new law. I don't know. 
But I mean, god dang, what type of position is this child? I know I did a reading months and months ago. I said some of you will go from being like, you know, just co-workers to being like team leads or like in leadership positions. And I said these co-workers, they're going to start treating your ass different. You know what I mean? Everybody, want, not everybody, but most people want to be a boss, but they don't want to like, some people don't know all that shit in, entails. Some people do, because I, I go to certain places, I'm like, you're a manager, but I, I don't want their responsibility. So, this is very specific. Some of you could have took this person's position and were really upset about it. ESP. ESP that's going to fall back up under this spirituality right here. Memory manipulation. Memory manipulation. So, I mean, do y'all work for the government? What the fuck is going on? Somebody could be trying to erase or change memories of somebody. It, look, I, it looks like this was some type of position in the office. At your work office or something. That... And then for others of you, it looks like somebody want to come to you with some type of offer, but they just want you to release this spirituality. I did a reading yesterday. I was like, they take you for who you are. I don't take you at all. Like, what the fuck? How in the hell would they feel if you told them to release their beliefs? You know what I'm saying? Amen. Hey, but anyway, y'all, let's pull a life purpose deck since the life purpose card came out. The spirit says, time to decide. But I feel like somebody lost a lot right here with this Five of Pentacles. But there's going to be a regeneration. And then look, strength. Everything that you have experienced has made you strong and courageous. Because we got the strength card out here twice. You may have went, somebody may have went through a lot. Yeah, there's a career change here. You're embarking upon a career that brings you the joy and the abundance that you desire and deserve. Because we did get a settling card here. Don't settle for a dead-end job where you don't see any opportunities for growth. And are you getting paid what you're worth? Because, hell, this promoter for some of y'all, maybe somebody was um exploiting you. And this King of Queen of Pentacles could have been making money off of this crime. You are protected. I feel like you're you're someone who's creative and your your soul longs to express itself in creative ways. Maybe you was working for a king, queen of pentacles. And uh, maybe they didn't like how you colored outside of the line. I don't know how to take the house on a resume. You had builder. I know a couple weeks ago I did a reading. Said if you had a spiritual business, these people were trying to like tear it down, break it down, close it down, shut it down, take out it's gonna resonate. And so you may have to go and rebuild with that regeneration. You might have to go and rebuild something, but it says your innate ability to build and create brings you a deep sense of accomplishment. Okay. Now let's close this out. Spirit. Might might want to eat better. Fresh organic fruits and vegetables give you a boost of high life force energy, which elevates your spiritual frequency. Mm -hmm. Yeah. is going on for the collect and somebody's just really trying to block your ass and stop you at work because of some type of position it remind me when they do 
um, it was on that show, The Right Stuff. What this car say, you are enough and you have what it takes. There's this show on TV called The Right Stuff. And this man wrote three names down. And he wrote it on a piece of paper. It was only him and another person who knew about it. And then he burnt the paper up. So, hell, that Bible once could have been some type of competition for, for this position. Whatever the position is. This don't even have to be a work position. This could be a position within a relationship. I don't know, y'all. But somebody feel like you took that from them. And they upset about it. How the hell you gonna take, if this is a job, how you gonna take something from somebody? Somebody had to give it to you. What's the message? We have innocence here. Because I was just getting, even though I don't see the seven of swords, I was just getting with this ESP. Somebody could have lied and said that you were doing something that you were not with your ESP. I did a reading, it was a king of swords. And in that reading, it brought me back to, this actually happened to me, y'all. So when I was like 18, 19, my daddy had got me, well, I, had, I got the apartment. But he surprised me one day. And I was at work, I was working at Burger King. I only had my, my oldest son. And I was at work, my daddy came through the drive through And he had friends on the back of the truck, but I ain't think nothing about it, you know what I mean? So when I went to work, there was no furniture in the house. When I came home, Every room in that house had furniture, comforters, TVs, curtains. It was just furnished out. You know what I'm saying? And uh, mind you, I'm eight. I think I was 18. This is my first apartment. And uh, so my best friend, her aunt, had told her she had to leave. So I was like, "Well, you can come and stay with us." Cause I had a two bedroom. Well, one day while I was at work, and she was over, my, my best friend was staying with us, her aunt came over there. She let her aunt in, and she was telling me her aunt was saying, how she get this leather front? You know, back then, leather was hot, okay? She's like, how she get this? How she get that? Working at Burger King, making, I think I was making five fifteen an hour. So, what her aunt did, but y'all, that shit, I'm so, I was so naive. Like, I just did not think that nobody would do no shit like that. But what her aunt did was, so so my friend, when I came home from work, my friend was telling me, oh, yeah, my aunt said this, that, 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 that. So I was like, okay. And so one night, we was just sitting there, me and my oldest son and her, we were just sitting there watching TV, and all of a sudden, boom, 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 boom. Fucking knock on the door. I opened the door, I almost shitted on myself, y'all, because there's police everywhere. And they was like, we heard you had 55 pounds of weed in the house. Now, one of the police officers was my cousin, who would make it so bad. <clears throat> they was like, we, had, we heard you had 55 pounds of weed in the house. You know when you're young, what's the first thing you do? You call your mama, your, uh, whoever raised rights. I call my grandma, my second mama. The police said, saying I got 55 pounds of weed. And the police officer, that that was our cousin, I told him, I said, such and such here, put him on the phone. My grandma said, put him on the phone. She said, you know that baby ain't got no weed in the house. A little bit of two-bedroom apartment. I'm standing in the projects. You would be able to smell that shit. Man, the police came in there and turned everything upside down. Upside down. For nothing. Because I didn't. I was going to work every day. I wasn't making but five fifteen, but hell, the rent wasn't for like $50. You know what I'm saying? That was my little first apartment. But they told everything up and how. On some bullshit. On some fucking bullshit. And then, after that, I had to move because this was the project. If the police come to your house for stuff like that, you can't stay there no more. I was just like, why would this woman? I ain't never did that to that woman. Only thing I did was took her niece in when she put her niece out. Told her she was like, yeah, you come stay over here. But I had never did nothing to that woman, man. But yeah, man, they did that shit. 
called the police, told the police, hey, 55 pounds of weed. So, in the end, I lost everything. So, I like that. Boom. So, some of y'all could have went. And so, I did a reading about two years ago. I said, somebody was trying to figure out a way to stop you when they couldn't. And so, they did something like that. Because it brought me back to what happened to me when I was 18. And also, the song, there was a song that came up in that reading. It's called... Uh, all I know is I done been down this road before. This ain't the first time and won't be the last. So somebody could have been envious of someone with their five or so. Because that's the only thing I could think of. She, she wasn't, she was saying, how did she get this? And how did she get that? Working at Burger King, she told her, she said, I don't even have furniture like that. How she get, like, it was, it was real fucked up. Real fucked up. So some of y'all could have went through this. And so with this ESP and this innocence, somebody could have lied and said, some of y'all may not even have this. Somebody could have lied and said that you did. Could have been a whole setup involved, right? Um, with this memory manipulation and planting memories in someone's mind and shit. For others of you, you may be a sensitive or a medium or a psychic or whatever. And they could have said that you were doing something negative with this. And you weren't, and it could have caused you to lose everything. That's fucked up. But yeah, I, I went through that shit. I didn't. Like, it hurt now because I didn't do nothing to that girl. But it, then I was just like, I was young, so. I just picked back up, and, you know, it took me a minute. I had to go and stay with somebody. Had gave the rest of the furniture away that they didn't tear up. And gave that away. Because I couldn't stay there no more. And um, I didn't even know that I could have fought that. I didn't know that. You know what I'm saying? I, I was young. I was naive. I didn't know that I could have appealed it. Because there was nothing in my house. And it's that's what the fucking new law should be. Motherfuckers can't just say... Oh, this person is this, that, and the third. And then have a whole fucking investigation going on some bullshit. You know what I mean? I'm not saying that's what happened here, but it's something like that. There's something like that. With the moon, eight of swords, five of swords, and five of pentacles. There's something like that going on. And right when this innocence card came out, I got that with that ESP. You know, some of y'all could be in that category. You could just fucking read tarot cards with the spirituality right here. And somebody could have said, oh, this person is a threat. How? And look, have confidence. Because remember with the Queen of Wands in reverse, I said that's a loss of confidence. This card says have confidence. Now, moving forward does not necessarily require you to have confidence in yourself. Confidence in God is enough. Okay? Ear chakras. So... Uh, some of y'all do have a strong connection. You're very sensitive. You know what I mean? You look at the world differently. You get synchronicities and signs and stuff like that. So it says, notice the messages that appear as sound, music, and words from both ex external sources and within your mind. These messages are real answers to your prayers. So, I mean, maybe you guys might want to... I'm hearing that song, Where Did We Go Wrong? This could have been somebody that you knew. This could have been somebody that you was in a relationship with that did this. The song's got something to do with kids. Could have been a child that did it. But you haven't seen the masters here. You got twin flame here. Let the past go. Yeah, not right now, but I do. Okay. And look, we got life purpose again. So you got out here twice, child. Let the past go. So obviously, whatever happened a second ago is the past. You know what I mean? So whatever this was, but for some of y'all, it's still taking place behind the scenes with the moon card. Yeah, somebody's trying to get you arrested 
or somebody's just trying to get you stuck and they're act they still actively doing something with the five of swords but with this angelic help and that favor and this love card i don't believe in love i believe in blessings child I'm blessed and I'm high in favor. You know, I'm blessed and I'm... Anything you do now will be very prosperous. Because I feel like for some of you, there's some type of new idea or a new project manifesting. You came out here twice. And I feel like that will take off for you. For some of you, somebody could have somebody looking into your money. That could be why something was... Because she was like, how she get that leather living room? How she get... Y'all remember when them damn TV, the big, everybody... Had the, this was the early 2000s, y'all. Where everybody had the big entertainment systems with the TVs and stuff. How'd she get this? How'd she get that? She working at Burger King. My daddy had bought all of it. That's how. But she wasn't trying to hear that. It was that she didn't have it. And she didn't like that. She never came to me and said nothing. Never. She did all this shit behind the scenes. You know, it reminded me of... I went... I was at my daughter's office one day... And it was this old white lady. She was doing insurance. And I was trying to see if I qualified for insurance. But at that time, my income was too high. But, you know, I had to give her my information. I gave her my information. And her, she, she looked at me and my skin color. And her, I seen in her face long enough to know, like, damn, this woman don't even fucking know me. She hating like that. Um, and her face turned sour she was like oh and then she was quiet for a minute and then she was like well i mean that's good that you make that amount of money every month you should be very proud of yourself and all that old bullshit bro i already knew what the fuck she was thinking you know what i'm saying i already knew what the fuck she was thinking so anyway this could even be a blessing in disguise Did we see that card that people you yep yeah, the people you spend the most time with shape who you are could even be motherfuckers around you child <coughs> don't want to see you do something yeah I just saw a family card could be family because for some of you the Queen of Pentacles could be y'all know the reading we did last week somebody's sister was working with a fucking lawyer to keep them out of here damn thing they say be willing to forgive. Shit, I'm tired of forgiving motherfuckers. People just running off of shit. They do need to set a new fucking law. You can't just say such shit and run off of it. Have a whole goddamn people. Emo, bro. It was so many police at the door. For what? That was that was resources wasted. Time wasted. And me and my son had to move again. I had to go let my son, I had to let my son go stay with my grandma because I had to go stay with somebody else. I knew my grandma would stay with solid. She wasn't going to be going back and forth, but I had to go and figure that shit out, man. Oh, because motherfucker, nah, she get it, nah, she get it. Then that kind of, that kind of fucked me up with my daddy too. He was like, which I feel like that was, he set me up, I, I feel. He's like, if you mess this up, don't call me for nothing else. And I'm thinking in my little head, why would I mess this up? This is a gift. Why would I mess this up? And it was probably like a month or two. It wasn't that long. Boom, 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 boom. And my son was like, not even two. He wasn't even two at the time. He went in two, y'all. Uh, and then I get a letter from the office. Well, one of the police officers worked at the damn apartment complex because you know how they give you free apartments and shit like that. Well, I lived in the project in my first apartment, so one of the police officers worked at the thing. So anytime anything happened, they, they, they had to report it. She knew. I felt like, I don't know if she knew or not, but if you make, if you do certain things, certain things going to follow. I'm sure she knew that much. This woman's smart as fuck. Smart as fuck. Okay. Um, 
So I, that's why I didn't understand. I mean, this woman had a big ass house. Any any time I ever visit any house she lived in, it was immaculate. Always super clean. Always had the nice plush shit. And you know, we was in a little bitty small town, so they were from they were from up north. So anybody come to any small little town, I, I thought they always had the best of shit. I thought that. But lo and behold, I guess she only wanted to be the only one to have it. You know what I'm saying? So after that, me and my daddy ain't talking. Ain't talking to my daddy for a long time until I got with my youngest son's dad. Then my dad came over and visited. But that y'all, that was almost 18 years ago. But anyway, what we got? We have goddess. Whether you are a man or a woman, because we all got masculine and feminine energy in us. It says, express your divine feminine energy, embracing its magical intuition and nurturing qualities. Okay, and notice the signs. Spirit could be giving you signs right now. But have confidence. I feel like have confidence in whatever this new thing is, because somebody is going to have to rebuild. Because something was lost. 40, 46 bring down to a 10. Something was lost, but this regeneration, thats to me, that's building up again. And for some of you, it could have been your self-esteem. It could have been your confidence because of all the shit that was going on around you. But this card says you are enough and you have what it takes. And having confidence uh, in yourself ain't even really necessary. Have confidence in God because you got angelic help out here. But I do feel like somebody accused you of something or the innocence card would not even be here, child. It will not even be here. Take the opportunity to forgive, especially if it was family. Especially if it was our own family. <coughs> <coughs> All right, y'all, that's what I have. Don't make anything fit. Just take what resonates. Y'all know not to ever put anyone or any reader above your own intuition. You don't know if this is for you or not. Till next time.